If the bill is signed before the end of the year, as is expected, many Americans could start to see the impact as soon as February in the form of bigger paychecks. Our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, Bruce is on Capitol Hill with more on what taxpayers can expect. Good morning to you, Mary. Good morning, Paula. Well, this is the most sweeping overhaul to the nation's tax code in a generation, likely to impact almost every single American, which has many this morning wondering how and when will this impact you? Republicans are promising more money is coming to your wallet. Today, we are giving the people of this country their money back. Most households would get a tax cut at first. The bill doubles the standard deduction and the child tax credit. Come February, check your check. The IRS says you could start to see less money withheld from your paycheck as soon as February. But those tax cuts for individuals may not last forever. They're set to expire after just eight years. According to one report, within a decade, most Americans making less than $75,000 a year will likely see their taxes go up, while the most wealthy would continue to see a tax cut. But tax rates for corporations, those are permanent, slashed from 35 down to 21 percent. If you own a home, you can still deduct interest on your current mortgage, but it limits new mortgage interest deductions to $750,000. And you can still deduct your state and local income and property taxes, but that's limited to a combined $10,000, which could hurt those living in high-tax states like New York, New Jersey, and California. Now, if you're concerned about how this bill might impact you, tax experts tell us you might want to consider prepaying some of your 2018 taxes now before this new bill goes into effect. But, Paula, they do say make sure to check with your tax advisor before making any changes here. Good advice. So, Mary, before we let you go, we know this is the tax bill, but what kind of impact could it have on our health care? Yeah, Paula, this bill does repeal the Obamacare individual mandate that all Americans have insurance. That is projected to leave 13 million more Americans without insurance over the next decade. And if healthy Americans opt not to get coverage, that could drive up premiums for others. A little uncertainty there. Mary, thank you for your reporting from Capitol Hill.